Hi, I'm Ed, and my wife Wendy and I like to travel. Why don't you come along and join us on our next adventure? Let's go! Hi everyone, uh, Wendy and I are about to embark on our latest journey, which is going to take us through Whoa, the- Whoa, what is this? It's a video, we talked about doing this. Oh, no, 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 we're not doing this. Come on, you said we're no, doing- No, we're not doing this, we're not doing it. Oh, jeez. Hi, I'm Ed, and I like to travel. Why don't you come along and join me on my next adventure? Let's go. First stop, Portland, Maine. When people think of Portland, they think of lobster, lighthouses, and Hollywood actor Judd Nelson, who grew up here. It is some of the most scenic shorelines in the Northeast, like here at Fort Williams Lighthouse. And the town hosts a variety of shops and restaurants catering to all of your culinary needs, with a strong emphasis on seafood. Did you ever see him like walking around town, like when he comes back to visit? Uh, I'm not sure who you mean. He was in like St. Elmo's Fire, uh, Breakfast Club. You know, he was like. I still have no idea what you're asking. Okay. All right. Thanks. Idiot. You are so embarrassing. How does he not know who Judd Nelson is? There's got to be like a, a statue of him around here or something. We then crossed over to the Canadian border to the province of New Brunswick. Here we found some of the most stunning scenery we've ever come across, like the majesty of Hopewell Rocks. The Bay of Fundy has the largest discrepancy between high tide and low tide in the world. Over millions of years, the tide going in and out has shaped these rocks into what they are today. I'm not sure how many people know this, but in Canada, recreational cannabis or marijuana is actually legal. And this is one of the many stores or dispensaries where uh, it's available to purchase. So let's take a look. What are you doing? What? You're going in? Yeah, I'm just gonna look. Why? I'm just gonna look. <laughs> Seriously? They were having a sale. Next, on to Nova Scotia. Here we visited Citadel Hill in Halifax that has served to protect the harbor from attacks since 1749. We witnessed the daily tradition of the firing of the Fort's cannon to mark 12 noon, which is done throughout the year every day except Christmas. Halifax is also home to the Maritime Museum of the Atlantic which features a large Titanic exhibit. Due to Halifax's close proximity to the wreckage of the Titanic, it became the headquarters for the processing of the deceased whose bodies were recovered. Across town, we found Fairlawn Cemetery, where over 100 victims of the sinking of the Titanic are interred. 121 victims laid to rest here, some in unmarked graves, and I'm guessing there would be one less if Kate Winslet would have made room on that door. What is wrong with you? What? It's not in poor taste. Yes, it is. How? There were other people there that could hear you. Oh, and they knew Jack Dawson? Oh, what are they, friends and family of the fictional Jack from the Titanic movie? It's not real. I'm sorry I made jokes about your friend Jack and how he drowned in a movie. You need to learn that not everything is a joke. You need to learn to stop at me every time I open my mouth. I didn't call you a I said you were at me. You called me a You're not a It's... It's just that sometimes you do a really good impression of one. Oh, seriously, come on. Not far outside Halifax, you'll find Peggy's Cove. It's not a euphemism, but a quaint seaside village with only about 30 year round residents. And that fish smell, it's probably Atlantic cod or mackerel. So we drove an hour out of the way so you could see a big lobster. The world's biggest lobster. Then we had to go to Bangor for no other reason than to see the Paul Bunyan statue. Which I thought would be bigger, so color me disappointed. Then we had to drive miles outside of town to see a trailer park. It was the trailer park from the first season of Trailer Park Boys. Like, like we're going to come here and not see that. And now you've wasted more of my time to bring me here. Yeah, ready to go in? Into the Anne Murray Museum? The Anne Murray Center. I told you I had a surprise for you regarding Nova Scotia's greatest gift to music. Anne Murray is not Nova Scotia's greatest gift to music. 
What? Nova Scotia's greatest gift to music is Sarah McLaughlin. How can you say that? You know it's true. You better think long and hard before you open your mouth and say something you cannot take back. Sarah McLaughlin is more culturally significant than Anne Murray. You can shut your mouth! From there, it's just a hop, skip, and a jump over to Prince Edward Island, or PEI as it's called. It's the smallest Canadian province, but it's the most densely populated. Here, we visited the Lucy Maud Montgomery Museum. Lucy, of course, being the author of Anne of Green Gables, which has sold over 50 million copies, making it one of the best-selling books worldwide. Not far from there is the picturesque Thunder Cove. The rocks and sand here contain large amounts of iron, giving them the rust color that the beaches on PEI are famous for. Our return trip from Prince Edward Island takes us back across the Confederation Bridge to New Brunswick. The bridge is eight miles long, the longest in Canada, and the longest bridge in the world over ice-covered water in the winter. I tell you, this place is beautiful, and the people are just so nice. And I'm continually impressed with what they must spend on infrastructure to take care of this country and the people. Like this bridge. Oh, toll booth. Where's my wallet? How much is it? I don't know. Can't be much. Hey, how much is it? Fifty twenty-five. Fifty dollars to cross a bridge. Fifty dollars and twenty-five cents. For that price, I should be getting free health care and free college tuition. They don't have free college in Canada. And the people aren't that nice. If they were, they wouldn't be charging fifty dollars to cross a bridge. Fifty dollars and twenty-five cents. It's no way to treat a guest. I just want to have a vacation where I can relax and we're not stressed out about running from place to place. Why does it have to be like this? What's wrong with that kind of vacation? I don't like seeing how you get. What's that supposed to mean? Really? Because we have an itinerary and that L.L. Bean flagship store is not on it. You don't have to keep asking how much further when it's right here in front of you. Because you can go online at home and, and buy a overpriced flannel shirt in front of you on the screen. Because a continental breakfast is not a breakfast. That's why. You can see it, right? ETA, one hour and 42 minutes. And if we have another unscheduled stop, we're not going to get to the world's largest lobster until after dark. And it's in a bad neighborhood. So stop asking. They say all good things must come to an end. So from there, we headed home to Pennsylvania. Despite all the fun we had on our trip, it's always good to get back home. We hope you enjoyed traveling with us, and maybe we'll bring you along next time. And don't expect any trips back into Peggy's Cove anytime soon. to slow down. The speed limit says 110. That's kilometers, you jackass. There you go. Tell me how to drive again. We are now entering the hometown of author Stephen King, Bangor, Maine, to which I say, Bangor, I've I been... hardly know her. You say it every it time. It doesn't matter. Every time. It's my joke, and I was going to say it. Fine. Do your dumb joke. I will. Fine. Fine. We are now entering uh, the home of author Stephen King, Bangor, Maine, to which I say, Bangor, I don't even, ba I, forget it, forget it, you ruined my joke. It's not even your joke. Well, you never heard it until I told it. Whatever. Sarah McLaughlin is more culturally significant than Anne Murray. You can shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it was good.